Okay, Diamond Geeks out there, we got an interesting one for you. Um, in the video or th that we're about to see, we got two diamonds. Both of these diamonds have, listen carefully now, they're both GIA Triple Excellence. They both have AGS Ideal Light Performance. And both of them have superior optical symmetry. Their craftsmanship is unparalleled. They're both great diamonds. Now, here's the difference. <clears throat> Um, well, first of all, both of these are also over two characters. Um, both of them are G in color, and both of them are VS in clarity. One's a VS1, one's a VS2. So, as far as all of that is concerned, um, it's pretty much similar. You know, one's a two, 207, and the other one's in the 230, so there's a little bit of size difference. But what makes this uh, video interesting is you have um, the 207 that we're going to be looking at is a traditional um, hearts and arrows diamond from our inventory, one of our signature hearts and arrows diamonds. 34.3 um, crown angles, 40.9 pavilion angles, you know, 56 table. You know, all the traditional ingredients for the best cut stones, you know, coupled with the superior optical symmetry. Um, the other diamond that we're going to be looking at is 2.30. While it's also a GIA triple X with AGS IDLI performance, the, the, the angles on this diamond are different. This one here has 33 and a half degree crown angles with pavilion angles at a 41.2. So it's kind of, uh, how would I say, <laughs> I want to say an, an unorthodox ideal cut. It's not the traditional angles for an ideal cut, but it's a proportion set that produces optics that are also considered triple X and AGS ideal okay so this diamond though and the table's a little bit bigger it's a 59 table as opposed to a 56 table so there are some uh, nuances of difference in the appearance between the two I just like to think of it as two two slightly different personalities of AGS ideal slash GIAX cuts All right, so enough of my rambling let's go on with the video and I'll show you all right, so here's a, here's a bird's eye view now to brightness. Now, the diamond on the left is the traditional hearts and arrows diamond, okay? That's our traditional signature hearts and arrows. This diamond here is the uh, newbie that we acquired for our client, okay? Who is uh, quite a distance away from us overseas. And want to show you, you know, so, you know, slightly larger table, but not not anything that we would say is a what we would call a drastic difference okay and it is an absolutely gorgeous diamond beautiful edge to edge brightness beautiful uh, contrast patterning that distribution of bright and dark reflections within the diamond and is a GVS1 okay so really the question that you have to ask yourself as you're looking at these two side by side is um, do I like this one so much better than this one that I would reject that one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so that, yeah, that's what you got to ask yourself. You know, otherwise, quite frankly, I don't think it's worth uh, taking this one and, and recutting it to that, or, or necessarily, not even necessarily finding another one that looks identical to that because the optics on this are outstanding but we're only through one part of this video we got three more parts to go we're gonna look at sparkle scintillation and a dim spotlighting we're gonna look at fire and scintillation and a stronger spotlighting and then we're gonna go by the window and look at it in natural daylight as well to see differences okay so there is your tilt angles and then your face up view for brightness and contrast okay now let's look at sparkle Okay. And, yeah, both of these diamonds got it going on. So you, no, no clear winner in spotlighting in my opinion. Okay. Let's get the stronger spotlight into this picture now. All right, and here we are in the stronger spotlighting. And look at the f <laughs> look at the flames coming off of that one on the right. Okay, both of these super hot diamonds. Wow, um, uh, I got to tell you, I am excited to find this guy for you. This one here on the right. It's jamming in so many ways. Look at the pinfire flash on that thing. 
just spread throughout the diamond. Very, very beautiful. And bold fire flash as well. So we're proud of this find for you, for sure. And, we'll, and, and by the way, this lighting here, um, if we were going to see the effects of graining, this is one of the lighting environments we would see those effects in. Okay, and it would, the diamond would look kind of more like hazy and um, milky, kind of similar to what, uh, when diamonds with the very strong fluorescence some of them have. But not an issue in this diamond, you're perfectly fine. All right, so we're going to go now to the uh, natural daylight view and wrap this clip up. All right, and I'm still, still a good time to capture diamonds in natural daylight. So I got them in the same order. 207 GVS2 on the right, and 230 something GVS1 on, I'm sorry, on the right, that's the 230, and then there's the 207 on the left. So, I would say, you know, if there's any difference, any, any, uh, there's a slight nuance of difference, I could see the difference in the little bit bigger table in the diamond on the right, versus the little bit smaller table in the diamond on the left. But considering the price point that I was able to get this one at, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I would uh, be so crazy to have, you know, to get a smaller table for, you know, the amount of money you know it's going to cost to do. So, two absolutely gorgeous specimens. I uh, have no problem standing behind this diamond uh, either or recommending it. And it is just jamming. I don't have no lady's hand, but just kind of give you a perspective on my chubby little fingers here. This, my ring finger is a size 10. I don't know if that helps. We get a lot of requests. Of course, now it's not in focus, right? Now it's in focus. We get a lot of requests for hand shots in the videos, and I know that you people out there, I know everybody wants to see hand shots on ladies' hands. What do you think if I even put it against my own hand? Does that help? You could leave some feedback there and let me know in the comments. So this is 230, a little over 230, GVS1. And what do you guys think? Do you like how, uh, you <laughs> would you really, really rather prefer me showing it on a, a lady hand shot? or? Or is this good to give you a size perspective? I'm curious to know that. In any case, that wraps this clip up. Thank you for watching. And as you can see, altering the angles slightly, uh, going from 34.3 with a 40.9 and a 56 table to 33.5, 41.2 pavilion angles on diamond on the right, produces optics that are very, very similar, okay? Like I said, the only difference that we see um, is not even due to the angle combination, but more so to the slightly larger table on the diamond on the right. Okay, thanks for watching. And uh, we, I just want to say too, man, we, we get a, we've been getting more and more views on our YouTube videos, and I just want to really express my gratitude to all our YouTube fans because um, without you guys, uh, you know, this this channel wouldn't be possible. All right. And if you like what you're seeing and you're learning, hit subscribe up on the top left-hand corner there. And um, we'd love to have you as a, as a subscriber to our channel. Thank you, and once again, bye-bye.